Hello, everyone. Today I'll present to you my idea of a new school system based on blockchain technology. But before we go into that, I need to give you a bit of background. Please focus, because in the next seven minutes, I'll talk about some extremely important and exciting things. This includes bitcoins, Satoshi Nakamoto, blockchain, tokens, students, schools, exams, and the future. Some of you in the audience must have heard about blockchain, and if not, you must have heard about the Bitcoin. But what exactly is Bitcoin? It's the first ever worldwide digital cryptocurrency created in 2009 by Satoshi Nakamoto. He may be a person or a group of people hiding behind that name, as no one actually knows who this Satoshi Nakamoto really is. Today, the website CoinMarketCap lists no less than 2,073 different types of cryptocurrencies, with the top three being Bitcoin, XRP, and Ethereum. People all over the world have spent over $200 billion on cryptocurrencies so far. The technology allowing the creation of cryptocurrencies is called blockchain. And now imagine, Cryptocurrencies are a rather insignificant thing compared to what can be actually done with the blockchain technology. But what exactly is blockchain and what is it made of? Simply put, the blockchain is a database system where data is stored in fixed size containers called blocks, connected to each other in a linear chain-like encryption mechanism called hashing, and is distributed among a geographically diverse large number of servers or personal computers. It is sometimes called a distributed ledger, because it holds a resemblance to an old-fashioned shopkeeper's ledger where all the transactions were recorded line by line. So how does it work? There are many types of blockchain, but let me use the Bitcoin blockchain as an example. The diagram shows the way data blocks are linked together by hash numbers, where the hash of any given data block depends on the hash of the previous block in the chain. So then how does it break? The hash number, a kind of signature for a data file, is calculated for each block by the SHA-256 cryptographic hash algorithm. SHA-256 takes as an input all six fields of the block and generates a unique 64-digit hexadecimal number, meaning if data in block number 123 was somehow altered, the hash of it would be recalculated, but it would not match the field previous hash of block number 124, therefore breaking the digital chain. Where does it live? There are thousands of servers, PCs, or blockchain dedicated hardware around the world, so any discrepancy would have been immediately noticed. Now I'll give a brief introduction to how transactions work. Basically, every user has an electronic wallet as well as public and private keys, which are used for blockchain transactions. Public keys are shared with everyone, and private keys have to be kept safe and secret. These private keys are used to initiate and validate blockchain transactions. The entire process is actually a bit more complicated than that, but this TED Talk is not supposed to be about technicalities, but what I think blockchain would be great for. World on a blockchain. Why is blockchain so disruptive? Why are there futurists that predict the blockchain will change just about everything? Well, the first and most important thing that blockchain introduces is the trust that is enforced by the technology. What it means is that once data of any sort is put into a blockchain, there's no way to manipulate it or remove it. It will stay unchanged for as long as the entire blockchain exists. Now I'll give a real-world example of how all of this could have been used. Think of this. I don't know. Blo Mr. Jones wants to sell his house to Oliver. The title and survey documents of the property are on a blockchain. He invites Oliver for breakfast, and while eating, they agree to a price. Now, Mr. Jones takes out his phone, opens an app, and a few clicks later, the title of the house is sent to the new owner, Oliver. Oliver pays for the property with a cryptocurrency, therefore the entire transaction, transaction is done within a few minutes compared to a few months as it is done today. The exchange is done without agents, solicitors, banks, surveyors, etc. The seller and buyer trust each other because of the blockchain. Tokens. The second thing blockchain introduces are tokens, which are just like cryptocurrency coins from the technical point of view, but represent a value of things that until the discovery of blockchain were not possible to quantify. For example, on my phone I have an app called Sweatcoin. What it does is out count the steps that I take and convert them to blockchain tokens called Sweatcoins. 
the value of one Swatch coin is currently five United States cents. Therefore, I can buy an iPhone XS for 20,000 Swatch coins. And all I have to do is walk. Wow, is there really a value in me walking? The answer is yes, but it's not obvious. I'll try to explain. First of all, there's a finite number of sweat coins released by the sweat coin company, just like there is a limited volume of gold in the world. The more I walk, the more sweat coins I get. The same way as the more I dig in the ground, the more gold I find. Now that I've explained the technicalities of this technology, I will show you my idea of a new school system. School on a blockchain. There's a great value in education, and everyone knows that. You go to school for many years, fully supported by your parents, and then eventually, hopefully, you graduate from university. The next step is for you to get a job and start earning money. And that is the moment you start noticing the value of education. Well, that is just about to change. Imagine a school system where all the knowledge you have to acquire for primary, secondary, university, or any other level is converted into small segments. Completing a segment will give you a number of, let's call them, edu-coins, representing the value of the knowledge you've just acquired. Examination processes would also be recorded and stored on the blockchain. You could collect any additional edu coins throughout your school days by behaving well, being punctual, or any other reason. Imagine you'd not need to attend one particular school as you could get edu coins passing, for example, a PE exam while on holidays in Greece after learning windsurfing. Imagine a company that wants to hire you, would have to purchase some of your edu coins. Basically, whichever company wanted you more, that company would, have, would give you a better deal on your edu coins. Wouldn't it be nice to start your adult life with some extra cash in your pocket, not a student's loan? Blockchain technology allows us to think outside our traditional boundaries, and that is why I think it's something that's truly amazing. Finally, I would like everyone to know that there are so many other blockchain-related concepts which are worth exploring, as they are part of the current tech revolution, like smart contracts, micropayments, blockchain platforms like Ethereum, or 3.0, which is based entirely on distributed computing, etc. It is so exciting to witness the early days of such technology and to see the way it changes the world in front of our eyes. But at the same time, I worry that because of the absence of blockchain education in schools, we might be late or miss out altogether on quite electrifying future opportunities. I believe introduction to blockchain and new emerging technologies like artificial intelligence should be done at the earliest possible age, and I hope I've managed to spark some interest in all adults here who might just help us with what I'm talking about. Thank you.